Hello everyone, so <laughs> I don't know how to start this video because actually I am thinking of making this video since I don't really know what to do now so it's Sunday by the time I'm making this video and it's like I don't know I'm just I don't know what to do right now so I'm thinking about making this video so so recently uh, because of the pandemic I been getting back to K-pop recently and then I found out about the group called Red Velvet so actually I found them you know back in their debut days probably like 2014 till 2016 but after that I just you know taking a break from K-pop for a while because you know I want to you know search for new music and at that time I'm just you know I'm, I'm a sophomore at high school so you know I'm just like in my exploring phase I have no idea but then because of this pandemic I've been you know my sister likes K-pop a lot so probably that that is what drawn me back to K-pop and then I found out about Red Velvet that they have amazing amazing songs amazing b-side tracks that you should give it listen because you know they always pull different concepts every time every comeback and that's just you know what interests me the most and you know they're popular but at the same time they're not that popular you know uh, considering the two biggest girl groups at the moment is blackpink and twice yeah, well they're great but i don't know why red velvet attracts me the most so and then yeah i start collecting their albums their old albums way back till they their debut days but you know most of this are you know album only i got most of them with a cheap price but they didn't come with the photo cards but that's okay because i'm not a photo card collector so let's just yeah let's just get into it so the first album that i have is this this is Ice cream cake. This is actually their first um, official physical release because you know their debut single Happiness didn't have a CD with it. So you know after a year and with a new member, this one she's uh, Yeri is an added member because originally Red Velvet debuted with four members, but after a year they added another member. So since then they become a five member goal and actually fun fact Yari is now my favorite bias in Red Velvet <laughs> so yeah so this is I love this packaging so much because you know it's so glossy and shiny and um it's just so beautiful it's so beautiful and their single ice cream cake is just so catchy as hell so yeah, so this is ice cream cake. Actually, there is the automatic version, but I prefer this one because this one is more colorful than the other version. Yeah. So next we have this. This is um, Red Velvet's first ever full-length studio album. So this is called The Red. I don't know if you can see. I don't. I I can see my. A viewing lens, I don't know, because I'm sitting here in front of the camera, so I don't know if it's focused or not, I, I don't know. So yeah, this is their first ever full album with the single Dum Dum, I love that look. I love that song, it's so catchy, it's so, you know, it'll stuck in your head the moment you first listen to it, I don't know. So yeah, and this comes in a jewel case with a photo book inside slipcase so yeah actually you're going to see a lot more of this in the next release I, know. I don't know why SM hate Red Velvet so much they give them a jewel case packaging this is not normal this is not a K-pop album 
should look like in terms of packaging. They should come in in a more fancier fancier packaging rather than just you know this one or oh, whatever. So yeah. Next we have this. We have the Velvet, which is their second mini album. I thought this was a repackage at first, but no, this is a mini album. This is not a repackage of the red, but it's called the Velvet. And the packaging is very very similar to the red, so it's like a couple album, but in fact it's not a really couple album. But I love the song in this one. This is the one with one of these nights, you know, one of I don't know, Red Velvet's one and only ballad title track, but it's so good. I don't know why this one is probably one of the most underrated release from them, but I just love it so much. You know, Red Velvet should release more ballad title track like this. Yeah. So next, next, we have, this is Russian Roulette, so this is their third mini and yeah thank god it comes in a more regular packaging you know, like the ice cream cake version uh one i don't know what this is called a digipack i don't know but yeah it reads this way so and the cover is this way and this is the back i actually also love this album because the b-side track is also kind of good and the disc is just like hollow hollow disc it feels so nice though just like i love the colors you know the pastel pink and things <laughs> oh yeah and also this song just you know became popular in tiktoks recently so yeah if you ever heard about the bb trend actually bb from luna is that luna and um, is dancing to this song so you probably also you should try to listen this song more, you know, give Red Velvet the praise they deserve. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, so next we have... Okay, wait a second. So this is kind of huge. This is actually pretty huge. So this is Rookie. This is their fourth, fourth mini album. And um, yeah, it's very different than the other Red Velvet packaging as you can see because you know the next one after this one they won't they will never have this kind of packaging again so this is like the only one they have this thick this is very, this is quite very thick actually and yeah it's long <laughs> so I have the Sulky cover I don't know why because um, probably Sulky is my bias she used to be my bias but now my bias is Miss Kimier and um, this the silky cover is the the artwork they use for the digital cover. So yeah, I so I get this version. Uh, so in the inside, just like this, it flaps like this. I don't know why. And um, gosh, and the photo book is pretty thick though. It's it's actually I googled it. I googled it, and it says like seventy two pages. <laughs> the SM ad I love and I adore and the disc it's just like a plain blue and yeah there's like actually nothing much but the, the box is just so thick probably because you know the photo book has 72 pages I don't know but is it necessary to have this thick box I don't know but I kind of love it though Red Velvet finally has the thick box <laughs> I don't know did they or do they deserve this kind of packaging or not, but whatever. So, moving on, we have this, I, this is the Red Summer, this is the one with red flavor and actually one of the, one of their biggest hit to date. And the packaging is actually, it's very similar to a Russian Roulette or Ice Cream Cake, but the hollow in the glasses and the, I should show you the back. The bag is so amazing. Look at that. This is this is actually the, the cover they use for the digital artwork. Whatever. And um yeah but they hollow, they shiny. They are so shiny. And 
the inside. Look at this. Look at this fruit <laughs> disc. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just so satisfying. And the photo book is very thick. It has like 80 pages. Yeah. Uh, I, sh I really want to show you the photo book, but actually mine just, you know, there's like two pages that ripped off, so I don't want to show you. And plus, you can see other unboxings people upload for this, so... Yeah. So after Red Flavor, uh, they released the Holy second full album, Perfect Velvet, the one with the peekaboo, but unfortunately, I don't have that one but instead I have the repackage the perfect red velvet with you know basically the repackage of peekaboo but with three more songs so yeah this is yeah <laughs> we went back with the jewel case I don't know why SM hates red velvet so much but I actually love the feel of this if you actually ever meet this album in person and you have the chance to touch it has this velvet silky cover material on it and I love it but I, I and the back look at this it's just so amazing <laughs> and um but I'm thinking about getting the peekaboo one as well because of the you know I love the photo book of that version. I also love this one, but I think I love that one, Peekaboo one better. And they have that like, you know, the pizza CD play. Looks so cool. I think, I think I'm gonna, you know, I'm thinking of getting that when I have more money. So yeah. So after this, after Bad Boy, they released the summer mini album which is Summer Magic, but I unfortunately don't have that one either because I'm thinking about, you know, getting the limited version, I'm thinking about getting the Yeri version, but I'm still saving for that one. I don't have that much money because, you know, I spend my money, my birthday money on getting these albums and I think the Summer Magic Limited is way too expensive, so I need to save more and I'm thinking but I think, you know, I'll be getting that in a couple months. Wish me luck. So next, after Summer Magic, we have RBB. We have the Really Bad Boy, another jewel case release. But I should tell you, uh, I love this album. Oh, yeah, I love this album. Not that much, but I love this album. The B-sides in this one is so good. and. One thing that I need to point out from this album, even though it's a jewel case, the photo book of this one is top tier. Let me, you know, I just, this is the front of the photo book. I don't know what. I just don't know what to say. It's so good. The photo book in this one is actually my all time. I think, yeah, this is like my all time favorite Red Velvet photo book. So good. It's just, you know. Oh gosh, the close ups, the golds, the shiny diamond thing. I just, I don't know what to say. It's so good. Like, I can, like, really watch this. You know, I just you know, flip over this photo book over and over, and I will be. Board, I think. Look at this close up of Irene. This is unnatural. This is. I think this is kind of illegal. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh yeah, I, I actually. I. You know. I put this picture once as my lock screen. It's actually. Really good. Oh look at, look at this close up of Wendy. <laughs> so yeah. So that is RBB. Um, so yeah, after RBB, they released the Reve Festival trilogy, which um, 
unfortunately, again, I don't have day one and day two. But instead, I have this, the finale, finale version of Reveille Festival. I actually, wow, one of my favorite, no, this is not one of my favorite record album, but I love, but I like this album. But I like the perfect red velvet better than this one. So this is the finale version, the one with Psycho, and this is you know I have a lot of dramas of getting this album because you know it's out of stock, it's you know running out so fast in stock when it's first released. This was like released back in December 2019, but uh, you know I gotta wait a whole year, so it's like February or January, I don't remember, 2021, so SM made a restock for this and like, you know, and I managed myself to have a copy of this and I am so freaking happy. <laughs> so yeah, so, so that is finale. Next, I have, oh wait, this is, so I have this. This is Monster by Irene Solgi. So this is the bass note version. The reason why I get this version instead of the top note and the middle note because um, this one is, you know, <laughs> this is a whole lot cheaper than those two versions. And this one, the, this version has a very much different packaging than the other two. So I don't have to, you know, be confused on what to choose. What should I buy? Because I because obviously I can't buy all three versions, so I just buy this one instead. This one has a big packaging, the thing that Velvet, Red Velvet never have before, a big packaging. And the photos in this one is like so heavenly, I think. This one is so big. I could like literally cover my whole face with the photo book. Um, yeah, oh my god, look at that whole huge sluggy face <laughs> covering mine. I don't mind. <laughs> and yeah, so this is Monster. And yeah, so that is basically all of my Red Velvet collection I have so far. And I'm thinking about getting the Wendy album, Like Water, but you know, I'm still considering which version I should buy. Is it the case version or the photo book version? I don't know, but like I really love the case version so much, but in terms of consent in terms of you know consistency, I prefer big albums. So I I'm you know, I'm thinking probably I I will get the photo book version. That's the problem. So yeah, I I'm sorry for that. The <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, thank you for watching, so thank you for watching me unbox this collection. I know this, my unboxing is not that good, but I promise that I'll do more good in the future when I show another stuff from my collection.